My name is Joe Carlisle, uh, bodybuilder, uh, MPC bodybuilder. Currently weighing 193 pounds, standing at 5'4", 5'5", depending on the day. And um, today we hit chest and triceps. And this is two weeks, or actually a week after Indiana State Championships and two weeks out from the Hoosier Flex uh, Championships here in Indiana. So today just... Getting in, um, worked with Jeff yesterday, and we did a lot of pumping um, exercises through my entire body. So got into chest, working from the top of my chest down. So start with incline press and doing, I think, three or four sets. Today was all about just getting feel. Nothing set, no set rep ranges, no set number of sets. It was just all about what I could feel and exhausting the muscle. So starting with incline press. Got a little bit done there, and then moved over to flies. I did a um, a higher cable fly and superseted that with a bent over fly, which I really like. Um, it hits my chest in two different angles, also allows for me to feel the contraction, and really, that honestly exhausts me um, a lot. And once I got done with that, we just did a normal um, uh, normal flies with the cables, and then moved back over to um, the can't remember the name of it, but the um, the pressing um, um, what was that? What's that machine called? The the one that's on the machine that's on the cables. That's um, no. Either way, we I moved to a another pressing move that wasn't as much targeting the upper part of my chest as it was a little bit lower. So I was moving a little bit down on my chest in a pressing movement. Did a couple sets there and then moved over to flat bench just to exhaust my chest um, at the end of the workout. Didn't need a whole lot to, to exhaust myself today. I was already feeling kind of tired and the pump was the pump was a little next level uh, working through today. And then once we finished up, just did some V-grip pushdowns and then single arm pushdowns. And then I ended up with um, behind the neck, um, tricep extension behind the neck with the dumbbells. And when I do that, at the end of this, especially with how you know exhausted my muscles already are, and I'm not really trying to grow at this point, just trying to keep tight and keep a pump going. So I don't stop. I just keep switching hand, you know, right hand to left hand, um, back and forth until I really can't go anymore. And then I just call it quits on my tricep. Just, everything is really already exhausted at that point. So I just don't want to risk injury or doing anything crazy. Yeah, I, I always like to end with push-ups. I think push-ups are still a great um, staple in any chest exercise. Just, I just think it's a staple that you need to always have as far as finalizing a little bit of pump, pushing blood in there, not trying to move quick, but really forcing the muscle to contract without any weight. Um, I think that allows me to keep fullness and balance within my chest. Can you talk about, we had talked off camera about, about a little bit about uh, getting blood into the muscle. And what a lot of people are just explain that now. Yeah, like yeah. So in, in season, I, I do this more, um, obviously not as good in off season, but when you're in between sets doing you know, a flex or um, some, you know, flexing that muscle to push the blood in there, which causes a little bit more separation within the muscle. Uh, I do that with my tricep, do that with my chest, even on my back. And even if you're not squeezing the muscle, flexing it, you know, doing one of your mandatory poses or um, just tightening that muscle up and squeezing it, you know, with a mind muscle connection. I also think when you go into your next set, it allows for a better mind muscle connection as you're lifting. Yep. What's the diet like at this point? So you're not, are you two weeks out now? Yep, two, week, two weeks as of yesterday. Um, so now 13 days out. Um, <laughs> my coach, Jeff Long, I think is uh, he's trying to squeeze every little bit out of me. So we're still egg whites, green beans, chicken, um, one steak a day, um, and one, um, one serving, one cup of rice a day. It's very simple, nothing crazy. Once again, we want to keep my body consistent. And what we've done to this point has really worked. So we just want to make sure we don't throw anything crazy at him, cause my body to freak out at this point. And what are you currently today I'm 193. I weighed in at Indiana State at 191. And because Jeff wants to run me down as, as close as we can and be as absolutely dice as we can, I think we'll try and probably weigh in at you know that 180, 189, 190. Um, but we'll see how, how things start panning out here in the next week or two. That's awesome. And you did really go ahead and talk a little about Indiana. You did really good. 
yeah, we we uh, mine and Jeff's first time working together, and he, you know, obviously that's always a touch and go thing, knowing how a body's gonna react and not knowing at that point when your body is super crucial and your body's so easily manipulated um, what could happen. But we did a very light carb up um, starting on Wednesday and Thursday and continued doing a light carb up through Friday, but the carbs kind of got cut cut down on Friday. Pulled water um, just before I went to bed Friday night. Um, and then waking up Saturday, uh, I felt full. We were, we were shredded. I mean, we were... There's nothing much more we could do. I mean, the only thing I think Jeff and I agreed on is maybe it's more fullness. Um, but woke up and had some steak, had some um, some natural peanut butter and coffee. Kept didn't drink any water all day. Um, kept coffee in my system. Had a diet coke between shows. Um, Jeff and I did agree we were a little bit flatter at the night show, but still the conditioning was. I mean, I've never been that condition, and Jeff and I were both uh, really happy with that. Um, yeah, still hold, still holding. I mean, <laughs> obviously Sunday, Monday, after eating all the pizza and donuts and tacos and everything else I could possibly get my hands on, I was a little bit watery and everything. But as the week progressed here, it, things just have kept getting tighter and tighter. Um, one thing that Jeff and I, you know, we ended up winning my class in light heavyweights. Um, it was a clean sweep there. Um, ended up not winning the overalls. It was a close battle between me and the, the overall winner. They actually moved us next to each other, and we battled it out going through two rounds of posing, and we were exhausted. But it was a blast. Um, Jerry is the guy who won. He, he looked great, um, um, and he did a great job as well. So, And once again, when he gets down to that, when you're in the overalls and you're, everybody's battling out, it's just about having fun. Um, obviously, we want a different outcome, but things happen. You can't control judging and things of that nature. And it was it was fun. And it was fun being there next to Jerry. And he's a great sport. Um, we were actually hanging out backstage and working together, you know, talking and joking around. And uh, I'm I'm happy for Jerry in the end. Yeah. It was it was really nice. Um, the middleweight uh, guy name was Joe as well, and then me um, and the light heavies, and then uh, Jerry was a super heavy. We were all laying down right next to each other with our flags up on one podium and laying there backstage in the locker room, just talking, joking around, talking about bodybuilding and carving up together, and um, it was really neat. I, I love the um, the sportsmanship in that. Um, yeah, I wish I could have stayed around and talked to Jerry after, but when, when I got done, I was about ready to actually pass out. I had to get off the stage, and I had to get down and get uh, get some water in me and get hydrated. But, uh, no, it was, it was really nice, the sportsmanship. And this is the second time doing this show. I've, I've met some really great people um, each time doing the show and made some really good friends through it. Well, you killed a three-and-a-half-hour photo shoot yesterday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We had, that was a blast. We had a whole, great time. <laughs> Um, as always, um, thank my friends, my best friend Taylor, he's always been there. Um, my friend Neil, he's a jokester. He actually was at the show um, for Indiana State. They brought up, he had this, won the second best biceps in Indiana for the little con the contest they had. So Neil was great, he was laughing. And uh, my friend Eric um, was great with it as well. And always thanking my, um, my family. My, my whole family came to the show. Um, my, one of my sisters did miss, but she had something important for herself going on. But my family is just, they've got my back so close. And um, I've met a lot of great competitors this time around. Um, some really great girls and guys that have been reaching out and, you know, we've been talking back and forth and been keeping up with my journey. So everybody on my social media, I don't really have many negative comments or people being mean on anything. Everybody is very encouraging. So anybody on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, the people that reach out to me, I appreciate everything that you guys say and do. Good yeah. Luck, man. Uh, Thanks. I will keep close to you and Jeff and see how everything goes in two weeks. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it.